Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? So are men heavily judged on their physicality? The answer is yes. Yes, if you don't believe me, then why are athletes some of the highest paying men in this society, in this country at least, you know what I'm saying? And worldwide, you know, these soccer players get crazy amounts of money, right? So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get more into it and why men's physicality is very, very highly judged right or why men are highly judged off their physicality first i'm Tarek. this is Tarek talks and i'm gonna be talking my stuff so check me out like comment subscribe for more topics on men's health fitness and dating discussions all right anyway with that being said so yes men are highly judged off their physicality this is true i mean you could take it back to the roman times right you could take it back to the roman times when those guys were gladiators, the very first Olympic Games. I mean, the whole country would just come and watch these guys display their raw masculinity, raw physicality, right? And it, it's still the same to this day. You know, these baseball games, it's baseball season, these base, baseball games, everyone's tuned in, right? When football season comes, you already know everybody, oh, America's tuned in, right? Everybody going to the stadium, everyone wants to see these men display their raw force, their raw physicality. You dig what I'm saying? It's it's not a coincidence. This is why I tell you guys, you know, of course, Ron Wills, of course, Ron Wills says it too, to get your physicality up. This is the number one, not number one, but it, it is up there with how men are, are viewed or how they're judged. You dig what I'm saying? So you need to get your physicality up. At the very essence of a man is what? We got testosterone. What is testosterone? Basically, it's pretty much stored in it. I'm not a damn scientist here. I'm not going to go into deep explanation, but it's pretty much energy. It's pretty much energy waiting to be used for physical activity. In a nutshell, of course, it has a whole bunch of other uses like your hair growth and your a lot of stuff for men, right? Your growth and all that good stuff. But for the most part, in a nutshell, your testosterone is used for physical activity. You know, I was looking at the deadlift record the other day, um, and it, the, it was a man, of course. The, the record holder, is he deadlifted 1,000 pounds. Now, you correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. It might have been, it might have been, something around that range but even then i've seen guys they live 600 700 it's crazy it's unbelievable right the, the amount of testosterone that that it takes to do that kind of stuff this is our superpower this is our physicality that's why it really kind of irks me sometimes when i hear young men talking about their home bodies and they look out of shape they complain about you know they don't get females this and you know they don't get respect my G, you are wasting your main source of energy. It's like you got a, a energy ball, but you store it away in your closet and you never use it. And it's right there, bro. All you got to do is just open it and just, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just open that box. You feel me? So that's why I be telling you guys, whatever your passion is, do that, right? But make sure you incorporate physical physical activity, whether it's skateboarding, weightlifting. That's my preference, right? Everyone should do some kind of resistance training to get their muscles up to form their body, right? But anyway, running, jujitsu, any kind of martial arts, MMA, anything physical, just get yourself physical. And this is a large reason why a lot of young men have so much problems with depression, anxiety getting bullied. You know, I see all these little stands about uh, preventing bullying and stuff. I feel like if more young boys were into physical activities, were into getting their body in shape, into getting their body right, and, and into masculine activities that require use of testosterone, instead of playing video games and scrolling through Snapchat all day looking at thoughts, I feel like that would greatly reduce bullying. This is just my personal opinion because in, in my opinion, people didn't really respect uh, as much as I would have liked, respect me as much as I would have liked when I was kind of more weaker, frailer, you know what I'm saying? 
And I'm not saying, look, I'm not telling you just because you get a little bit of muscle that everyone's going to bow down to you. No, there's always going to be somebody tougher, bigger, and better than you, okay? Let's just get this out, out your head. Get that out the way, okay? But for the most part, for the most part, you will see more respect. You will see more attraction. This is for show. You will see people treating you just a little bit better because they see your physical. You know, you, you embody the essence of of a man it's, it's it's a masculine trait for someone to be physical physical built rock solid you know when you when you think of someone that's built rock solid you think of a man it's no coincidence right that's why these football players they be getting paid so much money they be having the baddest chicks these basketball players same thing it's physical and i know it seems shallow a lot of guys might think it's shallow and you know what Maybe a little bit. May, it's, it, it may be a little bit more shallow, but that's because we're looking at it at the surface level, right? If we look at it deeper, now look, I'm not trying to go hippie on y'all with the damn sage and talking all the spirituality and all that shit like that, but something about a man that's physically in shape, something about the way when a man is physically in shape and he carries himself proudly and people see he's a solid rock hard, you know what I'm saying? They, they can see his m muscles, Right, they can see his solidness. He don't have to look like the rock, but they see his solidness. Something about that just automatically sparks respect in other people. That's why big, big, big dudes are kind of, you know, they're kind of intimidating. That's that energy that I'm talking about. You know, bigger guys are somewhat intimidating, and yes, people be using pistols nowadays. Really, ain't no more fighting no more. Everyone's shooting each other, but for the most part, big guys are still gonna get a little more respect. You know, people are going to kind of think twice on how they're going to talk to them. Shorties are going to, you know, think twice about disrespecting them like that. And, but at the same time, their attraction is going to be up. Okay, so yes, men are heavily judged on their physicality. You could try to get around it. You know, whatever height, rel religion, race, ethnicity, creed you is, make sure you get your physicality up. Okay, so with that being said... Like, comment, subscribe for more of these type of discussions. I'm out.